All right, this is the bull from the Bulls Garden. I want to show you some of the squash plants that we have planted. So here, here on this trellis, this is the bamboo trellis, the famous uh, Bulls Garden uh, bamboo trellis that you all see all the time on my videos. Uh, but as you can see now, the squashes plant have really, I mean, they're, they're way past the top. It's just that I, um, you know, run them over the top, you know, because, you know, you don't, want them, you don't want them to break. So, you know, you just weave them in and out of uh, the squares. But, okay, so the, the first three plants that I have over here, these are the butternut squash. And as you can see, you can see, look at, look at the, these. All right, that squash is there. That squash is up there. We have squashes over there. I mean, where we go? Squash is down here. This one right here looks kind of a little, little shady. I think I don't think he's gonna make it. I don't think he got properly. Yeah, I could tell he looks a little bit dehydrated. I don't think he's he's making it. Um, so anyway, if we go over here, let's see. Let me let me point them out before you stick the camera in, Ricky. Um, where where are they? All right. So if you come down here, Ricky, you can see back there. They're behind those. They're behind the leaves there. So you really can't. Can't see them with that. Let me um, let me see where these guys are at. Hold on one second. All right. So as you can see, we got some more back down here. Okay. Then right above that, right there, we got some more. And on that branch back there, if you can move that 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 stuff down there that's on the ground, you can see a whole bunch of little ones. All right. All right, come on over here, and we'll show, we'll show, we'll show the uh, the pumpkins. Actually, there's a little pumpkin right here. See it right here? See, see that guy right there? Yes. That's a little. That's a pumpkin. That's one of the pumpkins right there. It's the, the the flower up on the top. is starting to uh, turn. Once um, I see it open, I'll come and I'll make sure it gets hand pollinated because I want to make sure that. Um, some of the pumpkins do make it. I've had I've had uh, a couple of them already fall off because I missed pollinate. I missed pollinating them, um, and you know we do have a lack of, of of bees. So you know there's bees, but there's not that many. So I want to make sure that they get pollinated. So that's 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 a pumpkin there. We have another pumpkin right here. If you can zoom in on him right there. So I'll be keeping a close eye on these guys here all right now this bug here is gonna oh oh i was gonna kill him all right so so we gotta i gotta i think there's like three or four pumpkins there i'm not gonna look too hard for the other ones but uh there's there's like two more that i've seen of the pumpkins now over here is the buttercup these are the buttercups over here and as you can see just right here, there's two buttercup. Now this one here, I hand pollinated, and I know that he is doing good. This guy right here, definitely hand pollinated him. Now the guy right next to him right there, he's real little, so I don't know. They're kind of close to each other. So, you know, these are big, not big, but they're big enough uh, buttercups. So I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice this guy right here just you know just too close too close to him right there so we want to make sure that we get this buttercup to uh to size now if you look up here now up here we have a good size one Let's see if i can pull them up so this squash this i mean uh, this this butternut squash is getting really really big um i mean quickly I don't know if you, you can try to get down here through there and kind of show. Can you go around the back and walk through the back there without breaking stuff, Ricky? Yeah, sure. Oh, walk this way here. Oh, okay. Go there, and maybe you can show how good the, uh, actually, can you go in there? 
and go around the back side? Yes, sir. All right, so as you can see, the buttercup squash is getting really big. Um, it's getting really big. We have butter squash there. We have another butter squash over here, this younger one here. Small eye, like I said, I done pollinated this one here. You can see it right there. This little baby one right here. He, I mean, he's a good little distance away. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a chance. So you can swing back around here. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and go down this way here and see if we can um, take a look at some of the other squashes that we got growing on the property. Um, right here, we have a um, a patty pan squash. This is those scallop squashes. And uh, take a peek down here. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of small patty pan squashes. You can see them right there. They're still little right now. Let's look down down in there, Ricky. Yes. So we got the patty pan squash. So this is the patty pan squash. So those guys right there, I started growing them. Uh, I've been growing them for three years now, and uh, I really like them. Uh, the very first uh, time I grew them, you know, I just added them with all the other squashes that you know, with all the other squashes that we grow, and that was you know it was pretty pretty good taste. So so I've been growing them ever since. And over here we have a we have the um, this one right here. I think I think I have one. Oh, actually, there's like two growing on it right now. As you can see right here, there's a little baby one right here. This this guy right here. I'm waiting for it to for the flower to open up. And this one right here. This is um, a um, what, what's this one? This one here is a man. The name is eluding me right at the moment. It, it's acorn squash. This is acorn squash. That's growing right there, and I think there's another one over down there somewhere. But um, but anyway, that's the acorn squash. All right, let's move on down here. Over here, we have a few few small. And you see, you got a few little baby baby. Um, those are the um, crook neck squash, yellow crook neck squash. So we have a few, um, we got three plants right here growing. And look, these three right here, the, actually there's a fourth one over there. He's real small because he's hiding under Bob. Bob is sucking up all the, the light from that one down there. So anyway, these are the, these are the crook neck squash growing down there. Okay. So over here we have uh, a few. I have three three plants, and they're the um, straight neck yellow squash. These are the straight neck, and as you can see, I have these guys here growing right underneath my uh, pink lady apple. This is my pink lady apple, and I have them growing right underneath here. And as you can see right here, let's come around this way here a little bit. As you can look down here, over here on this side here, we have we have quite a few quite a few squashes growing just on this one plant here, and all three of them, all three of them have lots of um, lots of squash on them. I've noticed this year I have so many so many um, ladybugs. I am just so happy how many ladybugs. I mean, I guess they've been laying laying eggs all over the place because I have a lots and lots of um, um, ladybugs of which I'm so happy with so look at this this plant right here I mean it must have about seven seven squashes on it all right let's look at the other one see how the other one's doing this one over here you can see get down in here Matter of fact, this one right here, this one right here has conjointed twins right here. <laughs> Got two in here. This one right here didn't make it, so I'm going to go ahead and snap him out of there. There's no sense of him right there sucking up energy from the other squashes. So I'm going to go, this guy right here is going to go to the compost. 
So let's go back in here. And as you can see, oh, this one here, I got two plants here. This one here is doing a lot better than the other one next door to him. But uh, as you know, she'll be coming along soon, putting out all hers. And they got another, another little, see right there? Bunch of little ones right there. Got a lot of ants there, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave those ants alone right now because they're not they're not really so many ants that are really bothering me right now. And since we've had a little lack of um bees this year, I'm gonna go ahead and let the ants do their thing a little bit, as long as they're not overly um just you know an abundance of ants. It's, you know, there's quite a few ants, but it's not too much and not really hurting my plant. So I'm going to go ahead and let this ants alone right at the moment. But uh, as you can see, the squashes are doing really good. Really happy. I've been, I've been uh, hand pollinating them. Every morning I come out and hand pollinate them. Just to make sure um, that I have some, I have some squash um, get pollinated. Now, me and Dr. Ricky and the family are going to be going on vacation. We're going to be going ahead, hitting down to Europe. And then from when we get down to Europe, uh, we're going to go to England. Then we're going to go shoot over to Paris on the express train and, and chill out in Paris for a day. Then we're going to come back to England and finish our vacation off. So we are going to be uh, absent from making videos for about eight days or so. Uh, so bear with us. We'll be back. We'll be back in about eight to ten days and we'll go ahead and and resume with our videos and stuff like that so we'll um we'll shoot you all we'll shoot you all something more down there in uh europe um it won't have nothing to do with garden but uh we'll shoot you know we'll show me and ricky doing our thing down there in europe so anyway i hope you enjoyed the squash tour and until next time much love from ricky and the bull